שלום לכולם. אני יכול לגמוע אגם ממך את חופייך וחלוקייך ורשרוש גלייך ואורך המרצד על גלים קטנים 
חובקים את חופיי בחום, נספגים בחול בי. אני יכול לגמוע נהר ממך, אפליג לאופק נשמתך, אצלול אל עומקי ליבך. עוטף שונית, נפתח לי צבעייך, וסנפיריי משיתים אותי הלאה אל תוך. ושם, בתוך, נגלית לי. צדף מכוסה בשאריות, ובליטוף המים יושלו השאריות באהבה. ותראי יופייך לעולם, והאור שלך מעמקי המים אל על יזנק אל החוף. רגליים רטובות מאור, על חוף נודם מהמולה. אני יכול לגמוע ים ממך, ולהרדם איתך בחול. הריני מקבל על עצמי את מצוות עשה של ואהבת לרעך כמוך, I hereby accept on myself the due commandment or the utterance of love, your friend, your neighbor, your partner, your gardener, in the same way that you express love to yourself. Focus is first on you. Shalom, hi, I'm Ilan Azulay, I'm, I'm your host, you're an abracadabra, create what you speak. I'm a spiritual mentor and a guide through sound and meaning that we make through words for you who you are ready to reclaim your power. A uh, wonderful day today. Yom Nehedar uh, Yom. <clears throat> We're going to have mostly this conversation in English, I think, right? Yes, yes. Um, we are here, uh, well, okay, make a choice, Ilan, English, all right. So, welcome to the Abracadabra. Love can change the world and is changing the world. Nurit Brown, right, or Brown. Love is changing the world. The higher, yes, thank you. And um, so I'm here with a, um, a wonderful guest and I will um, introduce her in a second. So I'm introducing Avital Kazanov. Hi, Avital. Hi. Here, switch to the mic. Hi. Hi. Avital Kazanov uh, is, is a director of the organization that brings, connects people together in different ways and this is what I want to talk about this is this is amazing and uh, um, and so she was she was a director of uh, she's the director of Taglit right Taglit is um, is an organization well organization is not the right word I think I don't know but it, it's it's a, it's an organization for the sake of of, of, of argument that connects a young people Jewish profession not professional but young Jewish people and takes them on it almost like a two year two journey. week on a journey uh, back to Israel right yeah. but she is uh, she's much more than that and I want to discover that together with you here in the program so thank you very much for for being here thank you for having me how are you hmm? how are you I'm great can yes. talk to the mic enjoy the life of believing in this beautiful world <laughs> this is this is wonderful thank you for for uh, joining you know it's um, I seen I see that you I, I've seen that you made uh, also events or an event and now you're making another event to bring for for dating for people to come together yes right and um, and you know the song that the song that we uh, I don't know, see that Will be maybe this way I don't know this comes in from my eyes let's do this tour that um, the first song that we played is called <laughs> is called Loto Veyota Adam Levado which is it's not really good for we're not really born to be alone we are really uh, we came to be together and this is really how we how we learn about ourselves and and you know, if we have and and co-create, yeah, you know, we have to we reflect through the other person about ourselves, and we learn about ourselves through the other person. So, tell me about you. Tell me about this about how you started with uh, with Tagilit, and I've seen you've been an incubator, an international incubator that brought countries together. Yes. 
And this is quite uh, for, in, for building intentional communities. Right. This is, tell me about this. Um, it's an interesting journey which started back in the days when I was living back in Ukraine. Hey. And it started with the Chabad Jewish school where uh, I got my Jewish education and uh, down the line uh, chose the path to to build a Jewish community and work in a Jewish world. And I uh, was working with different organizations back in Ukraine, with uh, Chabad, with Jewish community centers, the Hillel's. Mm -hmm. And um, then uh, nine years ago when I moved here, I was searching for my path of where to find my place and uh, which community to be involved with. And I started with Chabad of Toluca Lake. That was the place where I was living in Studio City. And I'm like, let's all start helping this young couple. That was my first transition of like helping the Jewish world. And down the line, I met the Shlicha from Israel who had this big dream of building the Jewish community in LA mm -hmm. for kids. Mm -hmm. So I got involved with the camp. So me and her built the first Russian Jewish camp on the West Coast for kids 8 to 14. Wow, that was an interesting journey of my life. How, how was the response to that from the from the kids? Uh, kids were, I like it was an unbelievable experience. Kids were so excited to meet other kids from all over the West Coast. Parents were so happy because we were building the Russian Jewish community for kids and families to kind of interact between each other, and uh, down the line. My path brought me from the camp to Masai Israel Journey, which is an organization who helps young professionals uh, from 18 to 30 to go uh -huh. to Israel for longer term experience. Uh -huh. After going on a birthright, you can go from six months to a year to Israel from internship, volunteer opportunities, um, study abroad semester. So there is a lot of different options. And from that option, I got an opportunity to work with birthright. And I decided that why not to take this opportunity of helping more young professionals from 18 to 30 to 32 right now. We extended so they the raised, age. They raised, they the, raised age. the age, yeah. And just have this unbelievable experience of seeing what Israel is all about and find out who they are. Yeah. That's the most important pass that I believe we are giving the students and we have different passes of what trips they can choose from just regular trip to outdoor trip to disabled trip. There is like a lot of different options what they can choose from and uh, they open in themselves because some some young students, they don't have an opportunity to be in a Jewish schools, in a Jewish environment and this trip just changed in their lives. Well, it's uh, here, it's um... It's uh, um, it's building a community through really trust. There is a lot of trust that has to go into these, into these, um, into these kind of intense trips to be two weeks. Right tennis. now, b birthright. Uh, I, I I really love that. I remember. <laughs> well, that's something else, Kevin. Um, I remember uh, my daughter did. Uh, did did, bur did the trip you know and and it was for the parents it's great because they they come door to door they take you door to door from they pick you up two weeks everything paid right. and 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 it's really to go back to connect to re to connect to your roots to connect yeah. and and because many kids are born you know they're out in the di in diaspora and in, in different countries i know my kids were born here in the u.s and so for me, it's my country. And for me, there is, it's more than just a piece of land, right. you know, geographically. I mean, um, like, like, uh, if you take sand from there here, it's the same, the same chemical, but it is really right. the, the, on, on a spiritual level, it's really a deeper connection and everybody who has connection there feels that some people also right. don't have connection, feel that, but it's really to take the, the kids that are here born, that are born here and they don't have maybe a sense of, um, let's of put understanding it, of yes, like yeah. what the land is that it's not just it's only not just the land country and the land and that you are Jewish and you are connected to Israel just because it's Israel yes 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 that's right it's more than that it's more there is more uh, 
So what what do you find is the when you bring all these kids together, right? They're different. What what do you see is unifying them? What is the the, sil the silver thread that goes between each one that you know they come to a new place, they don't know anybody. Right. I mean, how how, how does this say? Uh, I feel that the environment and the atmosphere that we create between these kids who are going on the trips, the students who are going on the trips, and uh, they don't know each other. So we build the environment where they become in like one group, like a family, which travels for this 10 days all over Israel and experiencing something they never had before. So they start opening themselves on a totally different level of understanding who they are, what it means to have these Jewish roots, how Israel connects, what Israel give us as somebody who just came to the country to travel and to see the country, how people live in this country and how they, you know, go through the challenges and what it means to live in the country that gets bombed all the time and how easy it is for Israelis to leave compared to, you know, us seeing it from the side, from uh, When US. you say us, you mean? You mean, I mean Jews outside, outside in diaspora, yeah. yeah. And uh, it's a totally different understanding, like, I remember myself back in the days uh, going on a birthright trip from Ukraine. And, you know, I knew that I'm Jewish. I'm an Israel citizen. And, you know, every year I was going to visit my grandma and it was like, okay, I'm Jewish. Great. Everything is good. And then me going on a trip was a totally different experience of me understanding. It's like, okay, that's, that's a totally different understanding of who do I want to be as a Jew? Do I want to be somebody who just, you know, travel and knowing that there is an Israel somewhere there? Or do I want to be somebody who connects and bring values to the country? Do we, can, how can we help and what can we do in diaspora to make the change? How can we make the involvement in the community and help more people to know of who we are? Mm. Amazing. So it's really amazing because this is really the journey of our life, right? Right. It is. Uh, and that's how it starts, you know. It's just going on one free trip to Israel. And then it starts bringing, connecting people and bringing people to different communities, to other trips. And it's just the beginning. Yeah. Wow. So, so you came, when, when you came back from that trip, by the way, did you want to, did you want to stay when you went? to Israel or did you want, oh no, no, I want to come I, back, it's enough. I had an idea of like, okay, like how I can come back of on other trips or some educational program because like it's, when you go to Israel, it's like never enough. Yeah. You go and you true. feel it's like, okay, <laughs> you're going back to your home and again, you're in a different place and you're going to your everyday routines and here you just explore. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. I remember. Uh, yeah, that's. So, so what? Uh, what brought you to be involved in this? I mean, is because you liked the trip that you had to Israel that you decided to get involved in that, or it, it came from um, from a whole different place? It came from. A, I believe it was me being involved with the Jewish community for many years and feeling my neshama, my soul inside of my heart, of wanted to be a part of the Jewish community and wanted to give. At the moment when I started working with Masa at that time, a year and a half ago, that brought me to an understanding when people start calling me and telling me, thank you, it changed my life. Mm. That gave me a totally different understanding, totally different level of, you know, life and uh, enjoyment of me helping the Jewish community. Mm -hmm. So it's not about me doing the job as you know, somebody who's working for Jewish nonprofit, but it's somebody, it's an experience of me understanding that I'm helping people to really make a transition and understanding what they want in life. You know, this trip's bringing the opportunity to these young students and young professionals who sometimes looking for their path 
And unfortunately, in today's society, we have our parents who we <laughs> crazy love, who influence yeah. in us every single day. And they give in their suggestions of where their kids need to go yeah. and what they need to study. Yeah. And these kids kind of don't have a choice. And they say, okay, my dad and mom said to do this. So they start in this education or these trips. And they don't know what they want. And this trip opens the opportunity for them to explore and understand what they want to do in life. That's that's a great start. That's really a great start. A great I remember my daughter came back and she was all she had all creativity going through and she wants this is what she wants to do. And she's a big animal lover. So so and she went to a a farm, uh, a special farm in Israel, animal farm that are uh, taking, for example, blind cow that is there. You know, that is. Uh, um, so, so it's interesting that uh, you know today. You know today what holiday it is? Yes. Yeah. Uh, tu Bav. Yeah. Tu Bav is the is the love holiday. You know, in the, according to the Jewish calendar, there are actually in um, in um, it's considered that that these the two days, uh, the two Be'av and, and Yom Kippur that have a big um, the, the, the the potential to shift the energy, especially when it comes to relationships. And there are so many there are a few events that happen on on this day. So today is considered the the uh, uh, the love holiday or the love day, and everything is a love day. But you know sometimes. I think, I think, as humans, we have to create these reminders because we can get sure. uh, very easily uh, sucked in, yeah. distracted. Right? Yeah. Do you get distracted? Oh yeah, we all do. You know, I don't know. I don't too, know about all. I'm asking there you. Is, there is too many <laughs> things that's happening, and sometimes we get distracted from just everyday life and everybody connecting and wanted to create something and you kind of get in off your regular path <laughs> yeah and it's, it's how to remember to come back right right yeah right, right. and right. so we come together we have we have people and 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 that are con called shluchim right that are called shluchim to uh, to deliver the message that we need to get and it, that message and that lesson comes through them right you know um I have to share this story again of last go week. Ahead. Go ahead, <laughs> do it. <laughs> Maybe not everybody saw the videos. Yeah, that yeah. We yeah I'm sure they did. All right. Um, so, so last week I I met with, uh, and before that I want to thank Nurit again for translating the word taglit. The taglit is uh, is actually discovery. And this is really what it is. It's a discovery, discovery of self, discovery of the environment that we are uh, um, that we are surrounded by, and and the environment is really our nourishing, nourishing, uh, and breeding ground. So thanks. Um, so yeah, we're going to share the thing. So uh, last week I um, uh, we've met and. Um, and she and, and and Avital brought me a gift uh, that is uh, there was a, a plaque and was written on it something and and it was written on it follow your heart okay and um, and she is and, and Avital aside from uh, helping uh, Jewish professionals and uh, young professionals to come together and to co-create she's very intuitive and very spiritual we have a really great conversation and um, and so she uh, so she she put a blessing and an intention an intention an intention it's where where really everything counts and then um, put a word behind that so why am I saying this because three years ago this week actually today we are the 15th oh man it is the 15th of August you know, 15th of August is when I um, landed here uh, in, 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 uh, in L.A. 
I came from Boston three years ago. This we were talking about this, and yeah. was was that week, right? Yeah. So so love day three years, um, and so she brought me this one. When I came here three years ago, one of the places that I've been uh, doing ceremonies and sound therapy and 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 discovery of self through through different tools was in a place in Canoga Park called Follow Your Heart, and it's a it's a great vegan restaurant, and uh, They've been there for years, and I just really love that restaurant. And they have yoga studio two down, two roads, uh, two doors down, and they call it Follow Your Heart. So it was the first place, Follow Your Heart, and then you brought this this beautiful uh, this beautiful plaque and reminder exactly in this place, exactly at this time. And it's just this is what I call when you are is as a shlucha to serve in my story, and for some, and for the reasons that we've talked about. I am a shaluach in your story, and then we are both seeing, reflecting, projecting sometimes, and and going up and growing, right? Creating. Yeah, you love that word, huh? I love that word. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. When it gets stuck in, that's it. Um, yeah, co-creating. So, so that was a great. Um, uh, so let's see. Now you. Uh, so about Hakhel. So there is this other organization. Yes. That is called Hakhel. Yes. Which means gather, but as if somebody is gathering. Gather the people. The action of gather. Hakhel. And this is um, it's a Jewish intentional communities incubator. Right? And that right. there was an event that brought together 35 Jewish leaders from 21 intentional communities, Jewish intentional communities in 11 yes. countries. To see the latest innovative models for community building. Right. Community is so is so it's it's part of our DNA. We we, sure. we we long to we long to belong. Right. So tell me about that. How how was that? What was the? Um, tell me about this. This is exciting. So I started uh, doing Shabbat on my uh, backyard. Shabbat dinners. Shabbat dinners. Yeah. And I, it started with me inviting my friends, and I told my friends that they can invite all of their friends. Uh -huh. So first dinner I had, we had over 50 people showed up. Wow. And I was like, oh, my God, there is a need and there is an interest for people to gather together. And hunger. And the hunger. Yeah, uh -huh. for sure, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> so... Um, after that, they said, oh, when is the next one? And I said, whoa, 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 what are you talking about, guys? <laughs> Which next one? They said, we really liked what you create. Let's do more. And more. I'm like, okay, that's an interesting statement. So let's do more. So the next month uh, was a month of Sukkot, and yeah. I decided to do another one. So it was my day off. Um, it, was, it was my vacation of five days, and I decided to build a sukkah with my friends uh, for, 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 and invite for the event. Oh, yes. okay, okay. So in five days, we built the sukkah 24 by 24 with 10 feet tall, uh -huh. and uh, I invited everybody again. The, that, way, that day, I decided to invite the whole community. So I opened the door to everybody in Los Angeles who wanted to come in, oh, wow. were able to come in and enjoy a, a, an amazing dinner in the sukkah. And uh, then it started going and going and going. And then Ministry of Diaspora and Affairs uh, reached out to me and said, oh, do you know um, that we are creating these communities all over the world and uh, that if you want to be a part of it, we are more than happy to include you to be a part of this unbelievable incubator Amazing. project Amazing. and we'll be happy to you know, connect you with the communities, connect you with people, with mentors and show you how Israel uh, build the communities. So a few months ago, I went to Israel to see how in Israel um, they're building kibbutzim, how they're building communities and incubators all over Israel. And that was a really inspiring, unbelievable moment of seeing how people from nothing, from just having an idea, creating something inspiring and big and very spiritual. Wow, what an imagination. It was a big imagination wow. and then creation. Wow. And um, 
and are you still doing are you still in uh, so how many times does this happen every year this incubate incubating? yes so you can get it's happening so right now it's a three-year project so i'm involved in a three-year project okay. and then it will be by my own to kind of expand the community on a different level and that's what i'm already doing with different organization and creating different experience wow. that we will talk later about that so we will this be creating is, in a month yeah. uh, and uh, every year they're giving an opportunity for anybody else who wants to be involved to apply and be a part of this incubator oh wow so and, and, and they have to be like a leader of a community or something yeah, yeah, or yeah. having a project and expanding the community of yeah. whatever they feel is where they feel is the need. And 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 are the, the 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 people that are in the incubator like you are they also young professionals or are they a different age bracket? Totally different age bracket. For example, the couple who've been on an Israel trip who are from uh, New Jersey area, uh -huh. uh, they in their 65, 70. Oh wow, that's great. So it's really it's also bringing different worlds together because they're running it they're running their chapter if you will yeah in 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 a different completely different totally different manner than the so it's a it's a very interesting uh, concept of connecting different community and understanding what they do and what you can learn and kind of take out of it and use it in your communities it's very interesting concept of connecting totally different type of people wow well that's 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 really amazing and and then from that and from there <clears throat> you start uh, doing a uh, you start working with bringing people together you know dating and all this kind of stuff right. I don't know I don't remember dating but uh, connecting I call it right? right if you will if you can through a, a rapid thing but you brought people you bring people together Right? right and uh, we bring people together so they can connect and they can uh, incubate I don't know. Right. and and the question is many time how do we make the right choice and something I talk about in the program or in the video it's, it's it's always it's always something that will that will be in our space right because we always yearn for that connection and yet right. many time we are pushing it away you know we're bringing things we're pushing it away from our old stories so making the right choice you know making the right choice is, is <laughs> it could be a subjective right to when right to me now or right to me 10 years from now and if and if you can see the path 10 years or you, you can see where you want to be 10 years from now how are you choosing to cultivate that path which you want to walk in and so when you bring people that are coming to date you know maybe that's you know maybe that's how only how i look at things but when you bring people to date um what what are, what do you find that the like the connecting I, that i asked you earlier what is mm -hmm. the connecting line what is the connecting line between these people in this kind of uh, uh, environment that is different it's not a gleet we're not going on a trip we're not going it's we know where we're going but we're going here to meet somebody new we're going to see what a person has to offer many times people come and what do we have they have to have offer and many times also sometimes afraid to open but what is the silver silver lining between all of them that brings them from what i feel the silver line is a uh trust of knowing that they're in a safe environment where they can open and share who they are the, the, that's that's great there's the environment again yeah. right the community uh, but how can they how can they how can they on the, on the on a practical level you bring them together these guys are coming to the 20 to 25 whatever, around that 30s 35, 30s, 35. oh really oh so they're not young professionals no. they're <laughs> middle professionals. Middle professional. okay so still i mean they, they come to a place um yeah they don't know anybody how how is that how is that Interesting enough, uh, telling you the last Shabbat story. Oh, please, yeah, I love where uh, uh, there is one guy who comes in and he's like, 
hi, you don't know me, but my friend recommended for me to come. And he just messaged me a couple hours ago saying that there is this Shabbat dinner happening at Avital's home. Here is the address. Come <laughs> over. And he had a Shabbat dinner with his family. And he's like, oh, let's have a look where in Encina is the Shabbat dinner happening. Uh -huh. My family is in uh -huh. Encina. So he opens the map, look the address, and sees that it's five minutes walking distance from his parents' house. Okay. And he says, oh, there is no possible way I'm not coming. Yeah, so yeah. he finished the dinner with his parents. He shows up and he says, you don't know me, but my friend told me about your event. Can I join you? And I'm like, of course, come <laughs> over. He came in, enjoyed the whole, you know, dinner with, with us, had a great time, met new people, said, let me know when the next one is happening. I really enjoyed it. What you are creating here, I never heard about it until my friend mentioned it. And I'm like, that's an amazing story of seeing how somebody who had an amazing experience before or coming to my Shabbat or seeing some of my events of being at one of the events, sharing the information to the world and somebody who needed it at that specific time. That's amazing. Yeah. So whoever needs to be there is there. Is there? Is there? And every uh, interesting enough every week every like months that I'm doing an event it's a different it could be the same people it could be totally different people and it's a new experience for somebody who come on a consistent basis of meeting even more people and building a uh, personal connections and business connections and just having a great time. Another guy who was interested to come a few months ago, wasn't able, was taking care of his mom and then said, can I come this time? And I said, of course, sure. So he came in earlier, helped me with everything that needed to be done for uh, the preparation of Shabbat. Uh, and uh, he enjoyed the environment and everything that was happening. He was an observant guy, so he lives close by in the area. In the end of the night, he didn't want to leave. In the end of the night, he stayed on my couch <laughs> and uh, went in the morning to shul, came back to pick up his key, and uh, he even shared on uh, my group page about his an amazing experience of seeing new people and having such a warm and uh, nice environment where he didn't know anyone, even yeah. me. And for him, it was a great time. Wow. So, so actually they, they come, they come as, as they come because they already are guided. They're guided sure. to come. Everything is. Sure. Oh, we talk about yeah. this all the time. We yeah. know. We know this. Right? Everything. Everything is pre-planned. <laughs> yeah. Everything is 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 there. Whatever choice we make, there is a con. There is a consequence Consists, and a, and yeah. a path that goes with that. With these choices, so 100%. the the person had an intention, and this is what I uh, feel about the intentional community. That 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 uh, like the incubator. The intentional part. How is the intentional part? I want to. I want to hear what you have to say about this first. The intentional part of that community. Where is the intention lying? Intention. I feel from whatever I created and creating even more is just to give the opportunity for people to feel themselves and to learn. To yeah. learn through, like we discussed before, to learn through others, to learn through, through experience. Yeah. This is uh, experience is important. This is this is really great. I really I really love this. This is really good. We can do it more often. <laughs> no. Yeah. No. no I'm, I'm talking about the work that you're doing. The work that you're doing is really good, and this is great. Yeah, we can do it more often. But but, but the work that you're doing is really great, and and. Um, you know, experience is, is a really big thing, you know. The, 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 the newer, the generation now, the new generation 
of, of, of kids after the 90s that were born under the... Uh, sorry, kids, you know, not the kids and the thing, just in relation to me, you know. <laughs> um, no, 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 no offense. So, um, they're already born with what we're working hard to be in. Oh, for sure. They already have it in. <laughs> it's built into the DNA. <laughs> They're built into the DNA, and it, and for them, it's they have they they'll have a whole different set of challenges that they will deal with because of how they are and 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 how they come to be, and uh, the nice, uh, and um, and experience is something is something important because what I've what I've noticed with some with some of the the kids is that oh we feel that you know we feel that we don't really. Um, we don't really need to go through that. We feel that. We know that. We, we know that. We understand it. We don't have to go through everything. We don't have to, oh, experience this hard stuff. And and I really this I I I, I don't agree to that as much because it's uh, you know it's just to know something without the uh, the experience of it. It's just like the menu. Looking at the menu and knowing what dish you're going to eat, but you really don't know the dish until you taste it. Right. You know, and so. So, we, but still, okay. So here's this person comes. This person comes to a <clears throat> to a, to the Shabbat dinner, right? And he comes, you know, for whatever he is. I want to eat, to meet people. To I don't know anybody, you know. I don't I don't have anybody. And actually, at this particular moment, I thought of somebody. It would be great for our event. Um, and uh, they want to meet, but they come with a lot of, a, a lot of, a lot of fear sometimes. You know, right. still, I mean, they're coming to experience. They say, we don't need the experience, but yet they come there, and <laughs> they're they're kind of like sometimes sometimes they are some are less than the others that they are right. more more introverted right. than the others. But uh, do you have any activities that you do? You just come together and you just have the experience of Shabbat, the kiddush, the candles. They just feel a warm, warm environment of me meeting other people, meeting and start talking to them. So people feel totally comfortable, uh, even considering that it could be their first time and they don't know anyone. It just because somebody or they saw something or somebody recommended them to come they know that that's the space where they could be mm -hmm. comfortable to be who they are and nobody will be judging them and they can just experience and enjoy and meet new people yeah this is the uh, this is the field that is automatically created when we come together you know and it depends on really where where we are for sure. Right where we are, and and so so they come together and create this beautiful field. And the Shabbat, the Queen, the Shabbat that brings its blessing and brings its light and brings its the divine energies that is coming down. The, and the Shabbat is and it's the feminine energies. Everything is coming down and trickling down like Mazal, like um, Zila, right? Comes down and right. and th this is wonderful. And then every Friday, a uh, different person doing a kiddush and blessing on hala, and whoever wants doing a netilat yadayim, and the, I'm staying there to say the blessings because mm -hmm. most of the people don't know the blessings for netilat yadayim. And, you know, people feel that it's like a home experience, like they come in to meet yeah. their new friends. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Plus, you know, I believe because when somebody comes and it's still a process of people you know like girls helping me to finish to set everything up yeah. and you know i'm cooking the whole day yeah, to yeah. make sure that everybody can enjoy the shabbat dinner i believe that opens people heart to see how you know open we are yeah. and no matter if they're, it's their first experience of the second one, they feel that that's the environment that, you know, everything is done the way that to help you to feel yourself at home. And when we, see, when we feel ourselves at home, everybody has a different definition of home, but we open up. Right. We open up. This is great. So it's choosing right, you know, and choosing right, we, can, we can't 
contain this in the next few minutes even to even start scrapping the idea of choosing right or how to choose or what space we are but back to the first sentence expressing love to ourselves uh, to take care of ourselves to see what uh, um, what it is that we're missing sometimes we're rushing through things right. we're rushing through things through the days and everything and and this Shabbat dinners is really a nice a nice a uh, stop or pause right. in the in the timer it's like stop the train of of madness let me experience life a little bit right, right? that kind of thing so uh, this and the is, next one will be next Friday. Next Friday. So next. So you're having it every two weeks or every week? Sometimes every two weeks. Sometimes every month. Depends on the okay. months. If there is holidays or something else happening. Okay. So so if you're watching this, um, I tagged Avital. I think I tagged Avital. Avital. She she she's she is on this post, and you can reach out to her and find out about the Shabbat dinners. A great. Um, you know, it's a great thing to do. I'm, I'm, I would love to enjoy that one time. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, and um, choosing right. So, I want to talk about your next event. Yes. The next event that is coming up. We are very excited. Yeah, it's it pretty together. exciting. <laughs> well, you're putting it. <laughs> I don't want to take any credit. I'm not doing it. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, let's see. Let's see this. It's choosing right. Amir Dadon. Amir Dada! עניין של זוויות, אני לא מבין רמזים אולי, צבעים ואותיות. מבט חטוף אל עצמי ודי, רק לא להסתכל. מה שבפנים כבר בפנים מדי, קוראים לזה הרגל. מתי אלמד לבחור נכון? Lami <laughs> הולך מבלי להבין לאן, האם מוכן לחזור? מבט עצוב מסביב ודל, יותר כבר לא אפול. יש ילד שמסתכל עליי, קוראים לזה לגדול. This is a, I'm sorry I had to cut this. I mean, it's a great song. I had to choose right. It's, 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 that's the song. When, when will we learn to choose right? And right, we are in. We are where we are in our journey. I want to uh, to share. Uh, I want to share this uh, next event that you're putting together. Uh, spark your light again. Self care retreat. Self care with focus on you and your life goals. 
keys to communicate with others, spiritual awakening, thinking outside the box and understand of your true self. And this is what you put there, and uh, remember when we kind of went through this, uh, tell me about this event. Um, it will be a three days uh, retreat, like yeah. Friday night, Saturday, and then Sunday morning. Everybody will have an experience of learning about themselves and connecting with who they are. And um, this idea I came up with me attending a Moesha House uh, mm -hmm. retreat, mm -hmm. how to plan the retreats. Yeah. And uh, I was looking in our community and attending a lot of events, and I always was searching for something spiritual, but at the same time connecting us to Judaism. Mm -hmm. And I wasn't able to find it. So I decided at a certain point of my life, I decided that it's a, in a few months I'll create something where people can connect to G Judaism through spirituality. Mm -hmm. And um, I was thinking that I want to connect it to Kabbalah. And I asked the universe and God and said, listen, send me the right person who can help me with this amazing idea to co-create this experience of Kabbalah and spirituality. And then you came to my life, <laughs> which was great. Wow. Well, I'm, 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 really, I'm really blessed for, to, to, to know you and to see what you're doing. And, uh, and uh, we're going to do something More there. Things together and and uh, I'll be doing there uh, at the event. Uh, we'll have some talks and we'll put it out when time comes. We'll, we'll work with sound therapy and how to communicate through sound, how to heal through sound and our speech and the power of our words. And and this is uh, this is great. And you'll have uh, maybe Kundalini or yoga. I will and... have like a meditation. I will have a mandala workshop where you will connect with... Uh, who you are and what your goals are and you will be able to open yourself on a totally different mm -hmm. deep level and uh, it will give you an opportunity to explore and open different new doors yeah amazing amazing so this is coming on September 20th to 22nd 20th to the 22nd we have limited amount of spots so please if you're interested it's highly subsidized by Moshe House so uh, the tickets will cost $126 if you're students we have subsidies available so we are more than happy to have you this is great September yeah, September 21st 20, 20, 20 to the 22nd, 22nd. and uh, I should know these dates, and um, and uh, it's uh, if you're putting it, I'm sure it's going to get together. It's going to be great, and uh, <laughs> so we are. Um, well, wow, you're doing so many things, and and you're a real estate agent. Yes, you, you you're dealing with luxury homes, right? Yes, I'm dealing with luxury homes. I'm dealing with helping people to make more money through investing money. In Sleeping homes. And so, so you connect. So we connect. We connect through the heart. We connect through the mind. We connect through the pocket, right? Yes. And and then and then we hug. And then so everything is perfect. So we did a whole circle of everything. Right. <laughs> <laughs> this is great. Um, Avital Kazanov. Oh, this is a pleasure uh, connecting with you and meeting you and having you here and uh, and do the event. Uh, Thank you very much for thank you for having me for showing up. It's a blessing. Yeah. Thank you everyone who watching it and then everyone who will be watching it on the replay. On the replay, yes. And and thank you and thank you Aneta and Nuit and Anat. Uh, I hope to see you. Um, and yeah, and this is uh, Abracadabra create what you speak. I'm Ilan Azulai, I'm your host. I am a spiritual mentor and a sound therapist, and I take some work with sound and words to find really what is moving you and blocking you. And so we find different ways to do that, and we bring, I bring guests that illuminate these different aspects of the conversations that we're having. So thank you again for being here. Thank you and, so and yes, and if anybody is interested to register for birthright, I'll put a link um, below. 
Uh, we are opening, uh, we, you can pre-register right now and then pay your deposit in the beginning of September. We open in official registration and the closest trip will be in the winter time. So looking forward to help and answer any questions. So the winter time will be the close time for the next summer? Uh, no, it will be a winter trip. Oh, it's winter, so it's not only winter, in the summer. No, we have a winter Oh, shish kebab, too. really? Yes. Oh, man. <laughs> so it's not only in the, so, so it's no, in the winter, too. Yes. That's so great because... can enjoy winter time in Israel. And, uh, Israel during the winter is a completely different great. experience. It's a completely great. different experience than the summer. I love yes. the desert and I love the north, but it's yes. completely, you see the green and everything. It's just, you think you're like in Pennsylvania or something. It's like, <laughs> it's true. really, That's there are some, true. right? Yes. Uh, and 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 the thing is, and the thing is, in the desert, you drive through the desert, going to a lot, and suddenly there is a tree, completely green, right. just one tree in the middle of the desert, right? And uh, this is well, anyway. It's okay. miracles of the nature. Yeah. So when people ask, well, how is uh, how is Israel? You know, say America. You know. It's like, <laughs> anyway, <laughs> have a have a wonderful a wonderful week. Happy to be of. Find yourself. Find your connection. Find your heart. Go back. Let's go in. Let's let's do everything and for that and love and everything. Little <laughs> out. Bye bye. Thank 